All right, now we are into our um, maple season, our sapping season in northern Wisconsin. And we're going to show you how to tap a tree and how to identify a maple tree. Um, you can identify the tree by its bark. And I'm not very good at that, I'll be honest. The favorite way for me to identify is I look up at the top, the branches up there. <coughs> you'll notice they have little, um, look what looks like buds. And only maple trees have those. Yeah, if you look at the oak trees, they don't have those little buds, just the maple trees. And that's why we choose, that's how I choose which tree I'm going to tap. An oak tree usually has a few leaves still hanging from it. Um, you can tap, you can tap birch trees. It takes about 100 gallons to make one gallon of syrup. You can tap black walnut trees. I'm not sure of the ratio on that. Um, hard maple trees, it's about 25 gallons to make one gallon. Soft maple, and that's what we have, it's about 40 to make one gallon. We, we use the soft maple because that's what we have, so that's how we do it. Um, you want a tree that's good size, you don't want just a little tiny sapling. Um, we like to tap them on the south side whenever possible because the sun hits them first and warms them up. But if you've got a lot of places where you've tapped them in the past, you don't want to try to tap underneath the old one or next to the old one. You don't want them right in the path because that seems to disturb the flow of sap. We use a 3 8 to 7 16 size drill bit. And when you find the tree, Find the spot. You're gonna drill drill in. You're gonna drill in probably about an inch, inch and a quarter. And you want now we've got if you can see that, you can see the sap is already starting to run out of the hole. And then we put our tap in there. And tap it in so it's solid. And it's already starting to run. You want it solid in there. And then hang your bucket on the hook. That's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.